Hello, this is our example on solving two-sided equations. If you think back to the solving one-sided equations, our mission was to get x alone. Our mission is still the same, but this time we have a couple of steps we need to remember, um, and we basically have two parts as well. So our step is to get all variables to one side of the equation, so then we can solve for the variable. So we want to get x alone, or whatever variable that we're solving for. So example one, 15 plus 6x equals 45 plus 8x. So if you notice, like I just said, there are two parts. There's a part on the left side and a part on the right side. The goal is to get x equals something, okay? But the trick is to find out what that something is. So you always want to first get all the variables to, to one side. I like to look and say, okay, what are the variables? I have a 6x and an 8x. Which one is lower, the 6 or the 8? The 6. So that's the one I'm going to move. Okay, The one that has the lowest number in front of it is the one I'm going to deal with first. So 6x. It's a positive 6x. So how do you get rid of a positive 6x? You subtract it. Okay, I don't want it there anymore. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. Okay, So let's see what I have now. Bring down my 15. Okay. 6x minus 6x cancels out. I'm going to bring down my equal sign. I'm going to bring down my 45. Okay. Do a little bit of math. I have 8x minus 6x is a positive 2x. Alright. Now it's backwards, but we can still solve this. This is what people get tripped up. Okay. If you can solve what I'm about to write, which is 2x plus 45, if I can write the 5, equals 15. Um, I have no idea what this is right here. It's supposed to be equal sign. Okay, equals 15. You would subtract the 45. You do the same thing here. You subtract the 45. Some people just don't see that it's addition. Okay. Okay. So it's cool. Alright. Oh, okay. Alright, so subtract 45 from the both sides. So now we're going to simplify if we can. Alright, we're going to do 15 minus 45. That's negative 30. Okay. 45 cancel out. We're left with. 2x. Okay. How do you get rid of um, a 2x? The multiplication you divide. Okay. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. Okay. Negative 30 divided by 2 is negative 15, and that's what x equals. Okay, so there is our answer. If I wanted to, I could plug this back in for x. Okay, if the left side equals the right side, then I did my job. If the left side does not equal the right side, then I, then I did not do my job. All right, let's look back at uh, example two now. Same process, new example. So here we go. Again, I'm going to look and see which variable is less, the 2x or the 3x. The 2 is less. Look at the sign in front. There's no sign, which indicates a positive number. So how do you undo a positive 2x? You subtract it. So what are you going to do to both sides? Subtract the 2x from both sides. All right. So what's 2x minus 2x? The whole point was to get rid of it, so it goes away. Bring down your 5. Okay. 5 equals 3x minus 2x is 1x. Bring down your minus 1. Alright, now how do you solve this? You add 1 to both sides. Add 1 to both sides. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 equals x. 6. Okay. Alright, 6 equals x. And once again, you could plug in 6 for x. And if the left side equal the right side, then you know that you would have done this correctly. Let's look at example 3. Alright, x plus 2 equals 4x. Be very careful. Okay, what's missing on the right side that we've been dealing with? 
a constant. Okay, normally you use something like an example two. It said like x plus two equals four x plus three. Okay, this time there's no other constant to deal with. This time there's only one constant but two variables. So where do you start? Some people say I'm gonna subtract the four x. Then you're gonna have zero on one side. That doesn't make any sense. So think back to what I always do first. I always say, I look at my variables, I say which variable has the lowest number in front. Here we have a 1x and we have a 4x. Which one would I do with first? Which one's lower? I would do with the 1x. Okay then. So let's start there. 1x. Is there a negative 1x or is it a positive 1x? It is a positive 1x. So what am I going to do to a positive 1x to get rid of it? I'm going to subtract it. So subtract x from both sides. Okay. All right, bring down my two. Okay, four x minus x is three x. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do to get rid of multiplication, I'm going to divide both sides by three. Okay, so two thirds equals x. So there would be my final answer for number three. If I wanted to do it again, I could plug in two thirds for x on both sides. If the left side equal the right side, then I know I would be successful at my answer. I would be right. All right, let's look at example four. Okay. So here we go. Another example, same idea. Look at my x's. I have five x. I have seven x. Which one's lower? The five. Is this a positive five x or a negative five x? This would be a positive 5x. So how do you undo a positive 5x? You subtract. So we're going to subtract 5x from both sides. Subtract 5x from both sides. Okay. All right. These cancel out. Bring down your negative 3. Equals with 7 minus 5. 2x. Bring down your plus 5. Bring down your plus five. <laughs> All right, now what? What am I going to do? I'm going to subtract the five. Okay, why am I subtracting the five? You always want to do with your constants before you do with your variables once you get to this step. Okay, it's not redundant because in this part we do with our variables first. Down here we do with our constants first. These cancel out. Bring down your two x. Okay, negative three minus five is negative eight. Okay. What am I going to do here? Divide both sides by 2. Alright, I'm going to bring it over here. Alright, 2 divided by 2 cancels out. Negative 8 divided by 2. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. In other words, you could say 2 times what will give me negative 8. Negative 4 equals x. So there's my answer. Once again, you can plug this in for x and see if you get the same thing on both sides of the equation. If you do, then you know you did the problem correct. Alright, so here we go. This one is a tricky. Some people call this monster. Don't get freaked out. You'll be fine. Do the same thing as you always do. Okay, so first step. Get all your variables moved to one side. So what are our variables? 3 fifths x, 4 fifths x. Which one is lower? The 3 fifths x. So let's subtract it. Okay, just because there's fractions here does not mean we do anything differently. We're going to do the same thing. Subtract 3 fifths on both sides. Okay. Alright. Now what do I have? I have 3 halves. These cancel out. Equals. I have 9 halves still there. Um, nine half. All right. Now I have four fifths minus three fifths. So in other words, what's four minus three? One. So I have a plus one fifth x. Now why was I able to do it like that? Why was I able to just say four fifths minus three fifths? Because they have common denominators. So make sure that if you're going to subtract before you can add and subtract fractions, your denominators must be the same. Okay. So that's for a different different time, different day. Just make sure that your denominators are the same. If not, what would you need to do? Get your denominators the same. So um, if you don't know how to do that, send me an email. I can make a video on that as well.
All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna bring it up here. So what am I gonna do? I have to get rid of this nine hacks. That's the next step. Okay. So let me rewrite what we have. We have three halves equals nine halves plus one plus x. All right. So what am I going to do? I'm going to subtract nine halves. Okay. From both sides. Subtract nine halves. All right. So three halves minus nine halves. What's three minus nine? Negative six halves. And what is negative six halves reduced to? Negative six halves. So six negative six divided by two negative three equals and so that one fifth x. Alright, now what? Okay, now I'm going to need to do something with this. 1 over 5x. Alright, how do you undo division? You multiply. Okay, so now what are you going to do? Okay, because there's no variable at the top. This time we have an actual fraction, 1 over 5. This is where you, if you've ever heard, you multiply by the reciprocal. 5 over 1. So that's what I'm going to do on both sides. 5 over 1. Or just 5. Okay. So when you do that, 1 fifth and 5 over 1 cancels each other out. You're left with x equals x equals which 5 times negative 3? Negative 15. Uh, 15. I don't know why it just zoomed in like that, but yeah. So x equals negative 15. Alright, so let's try and hit the O. There we go. I don't know why I did that, but yeah. Alright, so x equals negative 15 is my final answer. Once again, you could take the negative 15 and substitute it in for x, and then if the left side equal the right side, then you would be good to go. If not, then you know that you made an error someplace and you need to fix it. That is our example on solving two-sided equations.